all remember how devastating the 2020 economic downturn was on families, businesses, and workers nationwide. So NBA and CEO Nicole Rodriguez joins us today to discuss how people and businesses can weather the current economic climate. Hi, Nicole. Hi, good to see you. It's nice to see you too. Thank you so much for being here. I just want you to talk a little bit about the economy and how people and businesses often take the wrong approach when fear of recession comes into play. Yeah, you use a key word there, fear. You know, the, the unfortunate part of, you know, anything that is uncertain is fear kicks in and we start making the wrong moves based on fear. Um, as a, a business owner, I've seen a lot of other business owners sort of freak out and say, we've got to cut staff, we've got to cut back, we've got to hold on to our money, don't pay those bills just yet, we don't know whether or not we're going to stay in business. Um, and then they start thinking about cutting advertising and marketing, which is like the lifeline to customers and letting them know that you're okay. And this is where that whole psychology mind over matter really has to come into play so that you don't do what everybody else is doing and you pull sort of a divergent measure and do quite the opposite and make sure that your customers know that you are alive kicking and and well so that they keep coming back yeah i was just about to ask you that because i know you know speaking about marketing so sometimes companies do say that's the first thing that goes and you tell people that's the last thing you want to cut is the marketing that's right that's right and the reason for that is think about cutting communication with one of your best friends the second you and sarah or whoever stop talking you're like sarah are you good are you okay <laughs> it's the same thing with business it's psychology so if you stop communicating in ways that you did before with your customers they're gonna, they're gonna wonder, are you okay? Maybe I should be looking at their competition. What if they end up going away? And really it's, it's making sure that you're tapping into the psychology and also remembering your competitors may be cutting back on that marketing and advertising, right? Because yes, you were right. That is nine times out of 10, the first thing that a company will think is disposable. You want to do the opposite because if you are out there talking about the sales that you got, talking about value pricing, talking about how your product or service is still good for your customer, it's that psychology. It's reminding them that you're there for them and that you are needed in this time. That makes so much sense once you put it into those words. Now, Nicole, you are a CEO boss lady yourself and you've endured the pandemic. So tell us a little bit about your story and how you overcame economic adversity. Yeah, absolutely. I tell people that the uh, COVID-19 pandemic was probably one of the best and worst things to ever happen. Worst because of, of course, that panic. You start getting phone calls from all of your customers all at the same time saying, we're not sure what's going to happen. We might have to pause. And you want to take a step back and breathe and just say, hold on a second. Let's just assess what you guys need and where we can work together. And again, I think that most people forget that, you know, that it's, it's a relationship that you have with your customers, whether you're a service based business or whether you're a consumer product. So that sort of helped us to really sit down and build a stronger relationship with our customers because we said we want to help you get through this just like we're going to get through this. The other thing that I did, which most business owners won't think to do, I actually cut my salary. Oh, wow. Quite, I cut it. I was like, I have spent too much time building this team and I am not going to lose them. And I kept my people because I knew that eventually this, this downturn was going to go back up. And believe it or not, because I did that and because even to this day, I still have the same team intact, we were ready for the new business that came after that that sort of downturn. And we marketed the heck out of our services. Yes. And we actually tripled our business in the pandemic. All right. Well, I hope that there's a CEO out there listening to this right now. Thank you so much, Nicole, for being there uh, for us and giving us all those tips. Now, 